Hi there, this is Unmesh from Piximperfect and I have a question for you. What does the gradient map do in Photoshop? Well, it maps the colors of highlights, midtones and shadows. And by default, it should work accurately, right? Wrong. There is a problem with that. Let me show you. So this, my friend, is a black and white image. What if we apply a black and white gradient map to it? So if we click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose gradient map, and we're going to choose a gradient map from black to white. And even if you click on it, at the left hand side, we have absolute black. If you single click on the color, you will see the hex code, all six zeros. And on the very right, you will see it's absolute white, six times F, that is white, all right? Still, if you take a look at the before and after, here is the before, here is the after. There is a significant change and it should not happen, right? Because we mapped it from black to white and this was already a black and white image. And according to its brightness levels, it should have been given the right colors and it should have been kept the exact same way. What is going wrong right here? It really got me thinking when I received this question from one of our Patreon members and boggled my mind. By the way, if you're a first timer and you don't know how gradient map works, let me give you a quick little recap. For example, let's say you have this image and you want the highlights to have a particular color, midtones to have a particular color, shadows to have a particular color. So the way you do that is with gradient maps. First of all, let me right click on the canvas background and set that to default if you're not used to white. And by the way, I usually keep the canvas background white whenever I have an intention to post that image in social media because social media backgrounds are mostly white. Facebook uh, most in most cases. All right. So click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose gradient map. So what it does is that whatever is on the right hand side will be mapped to the highlights and whatever is on the left hand side will be mapped to the shadows and there's a gradient in between. So let's say in the middle I want red for some reason. So I created the point right there and I can choose red. So in the middle we have red on the right hand side we have white and on the left hand side we have black. So we can create different gradients hit OK and there are tons of presets as well. So for this image, let's create something simple. On the very right, we're going to create something which is very modern. So something like this on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, we can create something dark. Something like this. How does that look? Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Looks interesting. We can make it even more bluer if we wanted to. This looks pretty good to me. Hit OK once you're satisfied. Hit OK right there. This is an interesting gradient. So whatever color we assign to the highlights, that exact color is applied right there. And whatever color we assign to the shadows on the left hand side are applied to the shadows. But you know, as I already showed you, this is not 100% true. Why is this happening? Let me show you the reason. For this experiment, we're going to create a brand new document just for a simple gradient. So let's go to File, New, and let's create a 2000 by 2000 pixel grid and click on create, all right? And we're gonna just drag in a nice gradient right here. And let's choose the gradient tool and we're gonna make a gradient from black to white. So black on the left hand side, white on the right hand side. This is a very simple gradient. Okay, now on top of that, let us apply a gradient map from black to white, right? So on the left hand side, you can choose black, on the right hand side, you can choose white. Now, I want you to take a close look at it. Here's the before, here is the after. Take a look at the very left. The extreme black remains extreme black, right? 100% black remains 100% black. 100% white remains 100% white. And even if you look in the very middle, look at 50% gray, 50% gray in the middle stays 50% gray. However, if you take a look elsewhere, anything which is closer to the black is becoming blacker. Anything which is closer to the white is becoming whiter. So does that definition ring a bell? making the brights brighter and the darks darker. That is simply increasing the contrast. So this, my friend, is increasing the contrast. And why is this happening? There is a property inside of gradient and that is called smoothness. And by default, it is set to 100. So if you open up our gradient map, if we just double click on it, single click on it right here, have a look, there's this property called smoothness. What that does is very simple. It tries to smoothen the gradient. That's all there is to it. So let's say we applied a gradient which is very colorful. This rainbow gradient, right? If the smoothness is zero, you will notice that the colors come closer to the point. And as you begin to increase the smoothness, these colors begin to blend in more, right? Let's go back to black and white. So on the left hand side, we have black. On the right hand side, we have white. If we take the smoothness all the way to zero, 
you get the original image, right? If we try to increase the smoothness, have a look. The dark grays tries to go to the right hand side a little bit and the brights come a little bit to the left hand side, right? It begins to blend in a little more. Let's understand this with one more example and this will make it absolutely clear to you. Let's take this one, right? Smoothness is at 100. If we take it all the way to the left hand side, see what happens? The colors come closer to the points. Even if you have a look at this image, the colors come closer. As you begin to increase the smoothness, it begins to blend in even more. And by default, it is at 100 and therefore you see a distorted vision. If you choose black and white now and set the smoothness to zero and hit OK, take a look. Here's the before, here's the after. It's the same. <laughs> now you might ask, Unmesh, how the heck is this useful? Well, it's very useful. You see, one of the easiest ways to create black and white conversions and great contrasty black and whites is through gradient maps. And if you don't want that contrast, smoothness is going to help you. It's going to help you tone down that contrast a little bit if you want to keep it somewhere in the middle. So let's say you want to turn this image into black and white. So all you got to do is to click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose gradient map and create a gradient map from black to white. It creates a wonderful black and white image. Now, if you don't want so much of a contrast, all you got to do, because this is manipulating the contrast as well, you got to go to the gradient, just click on the symbol right there, click on the gradient bar. This will open up the gradient editor. Inside of the gradient editor, just decrease the smoothness. It will not add additional contrast. If you want it somewhere in the middle, you can always play with the smoothness and see what works for you. Hit OK. Pretty fair, isn't it? So there you go, my friend. I hope the concept of smoothness is clear to you now. And if it is, make sure to give us a like. And also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks, or tutorials. For this special episode, I would really like to take a moment to thank all these awesome and amazing Patreons for helping keep Pix Imperfect free for everybody forever. And I have to say, a lot of great ideas and questions comes from these awesome creatives. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.